Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our cross-traffic game. And specifically, we'll be looking at the Exponents um, version. Uh, we have other versions out there that have that practice different math skills. So you can check on MathNook to see those. And speaking of MathNook, we have lots of free math games, teaching tools, and fun games to play and use. And there's really never any, um, there's never any sign-up membership required and they're all free to play okay let's take a look at the game and when you first start the game this is the menu you'll see if you click more games it will take you to our sister site lofgames.com they also have fun games and math games to play and there's never any membership or sign up required and they're free to play also um, if you click the video button it will take you to the page on math nook that has this game uh, I'm sorry, this video that you're watching now, in case you want to watch that again. The instructions, don't really need to go read those because um, I'm going over that how to play in the video, but I wanted to show you the clear button. And if you click clear, then what it's referring to as far as data, it's, it's going to remove all the game, the high score, uh, so that uh, you'll start back over at zero on the high score. And, and that's so in case... Maybe somebody else has been playing on your uh, device and they've racked up a high score and you really want to just clear it out so you can start again and see what your high score is. If you click yes, it's going to, uh, I'm sorry, if you click the check mark, it's going to clear it. X, it won't clear it. This will take you back to the main menu. And speaking of this game, if you want to find it, um, it you need to go to the first page of Math Nook. And on that page, there's some text links that show the various skills and one of them will be exponents if you click on the exponents it will take you to the uh, exponents page that show all of our exponent games and you'll find this game there let's go ahead and click play when you first start this is uh what you'll see and nothing's going on because you haven't clicked this right here which is the answer to this exponent problem uh, associated with the vehicle underneath it but right now let's go ahead and look at what's on the screen if you click this that will take you to the menu. It will kick you out of the game and take you to the menu. This turns the sound on and off, and this turns the music on and off. It toggles it. Both of these are toggles. Here is your current score, and the score it represents how many vehicles you've had passed through, and then the best is how what your best scar, score is, the highest one so far. So as you can see I've had 29 cars. The best I've done so far is 29 cars through the intersection without any crashes. Once you get a crash the uh, game will be over and you'll get to start again. So along here are the buttons that we, you will need to press or touch and um, I should say clicker or, or touch and um, they will basically stop and start cars. Now the four is grayed out which means the vehicle associated with four which is this one is stopped and once I click the four the game will start. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you'll see you get more cars coming through. Now these um, so far no crashes are coming up. I always try to uh, figure out what the answer is for each vehicle because I'm, you never know when you're going to have to stop it. So 64. Uh, so far I'm doing pretty good. I've got eight. Uh, no crashes. That came close right there. So far I've got a score of 11. I've got to stop 16 right there because that almost caused a crash with those two and let's see how long I can go nine sometimes these cars you got to be careful because uh, if you stop this car it's going to get hit from behind whoa barely stopped that one and let him go through and you can see it kind of gets a little hectic here well, it's, it's easier now I'm going to let these guys go through and stop 16 for the second of 16. I better get him started again because if one coming behind, there's one. And so far, I've got a score of 30. So I beat my best score. And you can see that this so far, this game is my best score. We're going to keep playing. Let's go ahead and stop him. And stop him. And I need to get him started again. And so far, I'm doing pretty good. Um... 81. The problem is when you start stopping there, okay, I've got a problem there, and you had a crash there. So it says the game over, your score 38, and actually that, was, that wasn't too bad. So let's go ahead and click uh, 
hit the restart button. I could have gone to the main menu also. Let's go ahead and click in. And I'll show you if you stop, start, and had a crash in the middle and the score is only two. And my best high score, my best score so far is still 38. Okay, and let's go ahead and that'll take you back to the, actually, this will take you back to menu. And uh, that's how you play this version of uh, Cross Traffic. And like I said, we have other uh, versions of this game that practice math, various math skills. So you need to uh, periodically go to Math Nook and check and see which versions are available. I uh, hope this uh, video has helped some. Hope you have fun uh, playing game, playing this game, and thanks for watching.